Hi friends, it's Queen Alita. So I'm back today with another message from the Lord. Just really grateful to be here. Happy to just have a little bit more energy today than I did yesterday. Um, thank you to everybody who prayed. I was not doing good. I wasn't feeling well at all, but definitely better today. Um, so I just wanted to welcome you all back. And if you are new to this channel, I just want to welcome you. And also just say, especially if you're new, that not every prophetic message that I share here is meant for you. Um, you need to have a relationship with the Lord. You need to be able to hear him for yourself so that when you do get a message or you click on a video and it sounds great, it resonates in your spirit, that you're able to take it back to him and hear if he wants you to run with this or not, um, or if it's for another time. So just make sure that you have a deep relationship with him, one that you work on every single day, okay? And I know that you know, for some of you, this will be a confirming message to what God has been sharing with you. Today's message is a little bit heavy. Again, it's about, you know, people that are coming against you. So what the Lord was showing me, if I can just get to the right page here, was that, um, so I had this dream, it was in July. Sorry, guys, this is very noisy. Why am I not getting to this page? <laughs> it was in July. There we go. Um, July 11th, 2023. And um, basically what the Lord was showing me through this dream is that there are people who are colluding, right? They're coming against you. They're, um, it's like they're linking up um, from different sides. Um, these could be family members. It could be family members with people that know you, other people that know you, maybe close friends um, or just you know people that are in your circle um somehow and they're kind of linking up and getting together to collude against you to come against your life and what uh you know stuck out was that they are like creating stories they're making up stories about you or at least trying to make you look bad Okay, they see you doing things, they're watching you. It's like people that are just observing you, they're around you often, or you know, they check in with you every now and then. And they see the things you do, they see the way that you manage things in your life, um, your responsibilities, and they're finding ways, they're cooking up ways to make you look bad in handling those responsibilities um, and trying to call you out to make it look like you're doing something wrong so it's like when people are just trying to set you up without just cause there's no reason that um there's no tangible evidence that you need to be called out the way that they're calling you out or trying to call you out um for some of you this is coming i got a sense that this is something that was still coming it's it's something that's in the future for a lot of you uh so just look out for that um, what the Lord highlighted was just in the way that they would try and make you look bad. But he was saying, you need to stand firm. You know that you're handling what he's given you um, the best way you know how you, you, you're on top of things. Okay. That's the sense I got in the stream is that you are on top of things. And what these people are trying to do is they're trying to make you feel like you're not, they're trying to get you to question, but the Lord wants you to stand your ground and be confident and sure about what you're doing and keep moving in the direction that you're moving. Keep doing what you're doing. Okay. Now, uh, let me just get to my notes. I don't want to skip anything. <laughs> stand your ground. All right. So, um, there's something that you need to get going with for some of you it's actually a physical going somewhere and it's what the lord was showing me was that you need to prepare properly for this you don't want to be doing this thing or getting started with it or moving forward with it or moving what and then finding yourself in a situation where you have to be multitasking right while you are moving forward with this there are things that the lord wants you to do in preparation for this thing that he wants you to get going on um so that you don't have to be multitasking instead of focusing on the main thing which is moving forward with what he needs you to move forward with so 
um, what the Lord was showing me as well is that these people that have been colluding against you or um, even it's almost like for some of you, you know that they were doing this in the past and that the new thing that they want to do is try and get in the way of wherever God is taking you to next, whatever next thing that, that the Lord wants you to do um, that he needs you to get started on. So um, just to give you a quick uh, image that I saw in the dream, I saw uh, these people in bed together, right? They were in inside a bed together and with them was somebody who was dead. It was like a person who has passed away. And then I also saw them again at a table, you know, talking. And immediately when I woke up from that dream, I knew that the Lord was showing me people that were in conversation. They were colluding. They were just uh, working together. And that uh, dead person in the dream representing a spirit of uh, witchcraft. Now, not every and it's not every time right that you dream of somebody who is not living someone who's dead someone who's passed away it doesn't always mean witchcraft sometimes it does and other times god could be taking you a different direction always seek the lord always ask the holy spirit for guidance right because i know that there is a belief out there that you shouldn't be dreaming about uh, people that have passed away um and sometimes god can use people who have passed away he's god he can do it okay he can do anything he wants so we can't limit him in terms of dream symbolism so every symbol everything that we dream about has got a negative meaning and a positive meaning and you have to seek the lord and look at the context of the dream and your own co context like how do you perceive that particular thing right so those factors matter in understanding what a particular symbol means or what a particular person means um so definitely take that to the lord in this particular dream i got the sense of witchcraft i got the sense of them um like consulting with 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 like the spirits of the dead. Now, this is a concept that I didn't even know uh, was a thing until recently when the Lord led me to various ministries on YouTube of people who used to do this kind of thing. And, um, you know, they're sharing their testimonies and how they would uh, consult the spirits of the dead. It's some deep and crazy stuff so you know i'm still trying to wrap my head around a lot of that but um this dream i had in july and i ha i wasn't even watching any of those ministries back then so recently i started watching them and then the lord sent me back to this dream to say you see this dead person in the dream represents that spirit that um, i've been teaching you about so um you know these are people that practice witchcraft they're colluding against you and they've used witchcraft against you and um the the, the plan or what they're trying to do is trying to stop you from moving forward in the thing that the Lord has told you to do. But the Lord needs you to focus on that, to not be distracted, to not worry about them, um, but to make sure that you do prepare for where you need to be going next or what you need to be doing next. And I get a sense, uh, especially just based on how the dream went, that there's going to be a deeper level of intimacy in you moving forward um and a deeper level of intimacy with the lord and you moving forward in what he's calling you to move forward in um and you're going to need this for your journey you're going to need this for where you're going because you're going to need to be able to hear him clearly and to um you know stay on the path to be obedient to what he's telling you and the only way you can be obedient is if you are hearing him and you're not being deceived by the enemy so there is a, a promise of deeper intimacy deeper understanding of what god wants to do with you on this journey but there are people that are colluding and the lord wants you to pray against these um these attacks or this uh attack that is brewing it does not have to happen whatever it is that they're trying to do can be stopped in the spiritual realm so that you don't see it in the natural and that you're able to move forward in what god wants you to move forward in um it's 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 really uh designed to come against you to come against what god has put in you to come against your ministry to come against your um some aspect of your calling okay and so again the action here is to pray against this particular attack this is something that the Lord is showing you so that it does not happen because you counter it with your prayers, okay? And the Lord led me to Psalm 100. No, 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 not Psalm 100 and anything. He led me to Psalm 27. 
which reads as follows the lord is my light and my salvation so why should i be afraid the lord is my fortress protecting me from danger so why should i tremble when evil people come to devour me when my enemies and my foes attack me they will stumble and fall Though a mighty army surrounds me, my heart will not be afraid. Even if I am attacked, I will remain confident. I like verse 3 where it says, though a, though a mighty army surrounds me, my heart will not be afraid. It it gives such a clear picture of what was happening in the dream because these were people that were linking up from different sides, but they're people around you. So it's almost like they're surrounding you and uh, coming against you in that way. And the Lord is saying to you, you know, you don't need to be afraid of this. Even, um, you know, they're not going to attack you, especially if you pray against this attack. And then verse four goes on to say, so I'm reading Psalm 127 verse one to six, not the whole Psalm. Sorry, I forgot to mention that. So verse four says, the one thing I ask of the Lord, the thing I seek most is to live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, delighting in the Lord's perfections and meditating in his temple. This is that intimacy that I saw in the dream that um, you're going to get as you move forward and are preparing yourself for what's coming next like i said for some of you it's a physical moving to some place like going somewhere and for others of you it's to get something started to get it going right so verse five says um for he will conceal me sorry for he will <laughs> sorry guys for he will conceal me there when troubles come <laughs> can I not read today? <laughs> but he will conceal me there when troubles come. He will hide me in his sanctuary. He will place me out of reach on a high rock. Okay, so the Lord is going to protect you. He's going to take care of you. Um, and really the sense that I'm getting with regards to the prayers is to come against the attack, but also to pray not pleading, you know, Pray with confidence in what the Lord is saying to you, that he will conceal you, right, in his temple. He will conceal you from the troubles. He will hide you in his sanctuary. He will place you out of reach on a high rock. I love this. He will place me out of reach on a high rock. So pray trusting that and thanking God that that's what he's going to do. Like praise him in your prayer. Yes, the other thing that came up was worship. I, I got a sense that the Lord wants uh, you to be uh, worshiping more. But really in terms of praising and singing, doesn't matter if you can't sing. It's just you and the Lord and to him it is a sweet sound. So yes this came very strong when i was receiving the interpretation of the dream is that he wants you to praise and to thank him because this attack can be avoided and it will be avoided and your prayer of thanksgiving and praise will even break it okay verse 6 says then i will hold my head high above my enemies who surround me at his sanctuary i will offer sacrifices with shouts of joy singing and praising the lord with music i love how you know the lord always ties um beautiful scriptures to the dreams that he gives me pertaining to you um it just always blesses me to see it come together like he'll just drop it in my spirit like psalm 27 and i'll be like okay um i have an idea of what psalm 27 says but obviously i don't know it off by heart and the little intricacies like you know singing praises to him and worshiping him i didn't know it had that and the lord had already dropped that in my heart in terms of the interpretation of the dream I just love it when he does stuff like that then to me it's a confirmation like okay this is really um what god is saying to to his people today so um again this attack can be avoided um just pray against the witchcraft that people are continually trying to work against you um so yeah i think that's the message for today i think i'm done speaking <laughs> and fumbling <laughs> um i will see you all in the next video um, but before I say that, I do feel it to um, just remind you all that I do have a dream interpretation like group. Um, so it's called Dreamers Link Up and we've been meeting since probably August 2020. So it's just over 
three years now. I was so excited about that, actually. Um, this was a ministry that I didn't think was going to last this long because it really used to <laughs> make me so nervous, um, you know, because I just don't have any uh, dream interpretation ability without the help of the Lord. He's the only one who, who interprets dreams. It's his business to interpret dreams. So I always used to feel like I was um, in the spotlight life like you have to interpret these dreams and um really really happy to say that i've grown so much and now i really look forward to these sessions because i know that it's all god it's all his spirit i don't know anything <laughs> only he does and it's just always so beautiful to see people grow in these sessions so um basically we meet three saturdays a month and we have like a group session and it's usually quite intimate um I, we've never had like a large group it's always very intimate because i don't speak about this a lot i don't advertise it a lot because i'm not trying to get numbers i i always just wait for the holy spirit to let me know when to share um when he wants to bring new people in um so yeah he's been on my he's not on my case but he's been uh, impressing it on my heart to uh just remind everybody that this is available so if you feel led to join i will put a link in i think the link is already there um you can also go to my website and just click on the membership option and join the group sessions and yeah that's all i wanted to say about that so i'll see you in the next video Always remember that God is a good father. He loves you so much because you, my friends, are so deeply special to him.